This video will take you through the assembly process of the Lone Star. For this assembly you will need the following tools. Phillips screwdriver, a set of wrenches, box cutter, wire cutter, allen wrench, tire pressure gauge. The first step is to remove the bite out of the box. First use the wire cutter to cut the straps on the box. Using a box cutter, cut the box along the indicated lines. Use a wire cutter to cut the wire securing the front and rear wheel. Remove all packaging materials and set the parts for assembly aside. Inside the box you should find the following. Charger, carrying case, carrying case mount, pedals, pedal cranks, mirrors, tool kit, U-lock, cell phone holder, rain poncho, screws and brackets, and a water bottle. After removing the bike from the box, your bike should look close to the following. To install the handlebars, first detach the four bolts shown here. Align the handlebars with the holes on the mounting plate and reattach the four bolts. Tighten all four bolts with an Allen wrench. Proceed by detaching the two screws on the handlebars. Align the speedometer with the holes and reattach both screws. Tighten them with a screwdriver. Let's now check the battery. Using the key provided, open the seat compartment and lift the bike seat to reveal the breaker switch. Turn on the breaker switch. Take the plastic cover in the seat compartment and place it in the slot located near the bottle holder. To charge the battery, unlock the compartment located in front of the seat to reveal the charger port. Plug the charger to the port and the other end into a 110 volt outlet. Pay attention to the indicator lights. Red means the battery is charging. Green means it is fully charged. To start your e-bike, insert the key in the ignition and turn. Test the motor by slightly turning the handlebars to activate the throttle. The switches for the headlight, taillight, front and rear turn signals are located near the handlebars. Check to make sure the headlight and turn signals on the front are working. Make sure to check if the rear turn signals are working properly in addition to the brake light. To install the carrying case, place the mount on the rack. Make sure to line up the holes with the slots and place the two plates and two bolts through the top. Slide the brackets underneath and attach the nuts provided on the bottom. Use a wrench to secure the nuts on the bottom and tighten both bolts on top with an allen wrench. Place the cover on the mount. Then align the carrying case with the mount and secure it in position. To install the mirrors, simply screw in the mirror to the appropriate side. Tighten the attached nut with a wrench. Do the same for the other side. The last piece you'll need to install are the pedals. This bike does not have similar pedals or pedal cranks. Attach the crank by pushing it in. Place the cover on. Then attach the pedal and tighten it with a wrench. Repeat these steps on the other side. Note that the pedal cranks should be parallel and pointing in opposite directions. Attach the pedal and tighten it with a wrench. Check to ensure that the chains properly spin when the pedals are rotated. Before you ride your bike, take 60 seconds to perform a quick check. Check the tread on the tires and use a tire pressure gauge to make sure your tires are at 40 psi. Check your brakes and brake lights by applying pressure on the brake levers. Check your headlight, tail light, and both front and rear turn signals. Look out for any loose nuts and bolts and tighten them. And lastly, check the battery charge by inspecting the battery indicator. Once you've finished performing the 60 second check, you're ready to go. Remember to always wear a helmet and observe the rules on the road. Be safe out there. If you experience any difficulties or have any questions, visit us at www.daymac.com.